G'day and welcome back to Down the Shed with Byron where I thought I'd better do a bit of a year wrap up of what's happening down the shed. Where we've been working on the GQ Patrol which was uh, our family car which we go four wheel driving in and do random trips slash it's me tow rig. Um, we haven't got quite around to the GQ debuild rebuild this year. I've done one or two jobs but we'll touch on that. We've got uh, Commodores that I haven't got around to sorting out. Um, we've got the sedan, we've got the wagon, we've got a Stato, <laughs> and we've also got Grandpa's Calais. Now, Grandpa's Calais, we've chipped away at this year, and um, I probably need another decent week on it, but I've ran out of puff. Uh, but we'll talk about that too. So, working on those demolition derby cars. They have sucked up a heap of time out of me, and then for it to be cancelled, um, I wasn't a happy camper, but hey, that's only down the shed with Byron problems. <laughs> but at the start of the year, we had a great fun with the world record attempt, safety grandpa having a shot at demolition derby. Um, he's 74-ish, and that was good, he had a crack. Um, we had a bit of a scare a bit later with uh, safety grandpa, ended up having to take him into hospital, but he's doing well now, the old codger. And then the old blue Brahm. Um, I'll bring it down the shed a bit later and show you. We didn't quite get started on that this year. <laughs> I think from the video we did last year, um, it's been parked up since. But as you may see, we've got DJ's HG Brahm here. We've got my old HT Prem, which you may have seen this uh, left-hand garden in many videos of mine. I thought I'd bring it out of the shed to get it some vitamin D. <laughs> uh, and you may see a ute in that back left hand corner. I'll touch on them a little bit later. To everyone that has subscribed to the channel, massive thanks to you guys for supporting us. Um, I don't know what it does in the algorithm, but I don't know, it does something. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to you guys. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to hook a brother up, help us out. Right now, I'll go grab another coldie and let's get stuck into these Commodores and I'll um, give you a rundown of what's happening. Alrighty then, so we've got the VY Commodore sedan that we brought as a bit of a project build um, just to help people out without getting a car over the pits. Now I've made numerous videos off this one, fuel pump, the front suspension, a little bit of engine work, uh, general basic service and some other bits and pieces, which was the idea just to help people out with your basic Commodore. Now, I may have sold it uh, without even taking over the pits at the moment. So, but don't worry about that. We've got a wagon at the back there that needs to go over the pits. So I might be able to continue the scenario of, um, yeah, taking over the pits, but with a wagon. <laughs> so yeah, the sedan, that thing is actually mint. Besides the body, with the paint work being a little bit how you're going, um, it's a pretty honest workhorse. Uh, the Stato has helped us out massively to sort out the Calais with central locking and um, little bits and pieces with the seats. Now, this VY wagon, my mate Gavin gave to me. Now, uh, we brought it over from Adelaide because I didn't want to come back from the demolition derby without anything on the back of my truck car trailer, e.g. from Murray Bridge back to Perth. So, we got that. I'll show you what's wrong with it. All right. Let's start boy, pop the bonnet. Now I've got a fully charged battery in there for you guys. Let's put the earth on, which isn't gonna reach. Oh, got that to reach. Now I'll set you guys up about here. And see if you can hear what I'm talking about. All right, hang in there, hang in there. Hopefully it starts first shot. Yeah, so, put your mic back on. We have a little uh, a little person inside there with a hammer somewhere. Now we've got to get him out and sort that one out. <laughs> um, is that something you guys would be interested in seeing? Uh, pulling the engine out, uh, stripping it down, seeing what's wrong with it, and maybe a rebuild? And if you are, let us know. I'll just uh, shut it off for a second. And how good's that? Gav, if you're watching, start it up. This has been parked up for about two months. <laughs> so yeah, let us know if you're interested in that. 
Um, I don't think there's anything really different between the wagon and the sedan, but if there's any other new jobs that I can do on a Commodore that might help someone out, let us know. So I did have an idea of um, using the engine out of the Statesman and swapping a few bits and pieces over and putting it into the wagon. But ah, still working that one out at the moment. Now to the Calais. Now if you haven't seen this series, um, what we have done to this car, um, it's pretty much brand new. Now it does have a couple of imperfections, a few small dents and um, you can see just on top of the handle there, the paint's come off. Um, front bar, where old mate crashed it back in the day, he's lost the um, front fog lights. So unfortunately, we need a front bar or some fog lights for that. We're missing a couple of chrome caps for the wheel nuts. Again, see here, the handle's a bit out of your gown. But otherwise, this thing is looking mint now. Yeah, I'll show you inside, I'll show you inside. Obviously we've used it as a bit of a family car lately, but aircon's cool. We just had the roof lining sorted out by Vision Trim. We went up there and um, caught up with Dan and he let the big fella have a crack, which was awesome. We've uh, stripped it back, put the new roof lining on. So that's pretty much good to go. My grandpa, <laughs> he wants a tow bar put on it. He wants something else put on it. I'm like, no. You're not taking this down the boat ramp. <laughs> right, um, we'll have a gander at the GQ patrols. Rebuild, rebuild. Um, we started off pretty well with this thing, getting it back on the road. Haven't really gone much further with it. These school holidays, what I'm hoping to do is at least get oh, a bit of work done on it with the kids, maybe one or two jobs. But this is where I sort of stuffed up. Um, trying to get the kids involved which is awesome uh, if anyone is doing that it's great fun but trying to video it <laughs> and having three kids and one sitting in the corner and one pushing the other one or some oh my goodness <laughs> so we've got a um a boot full of parts to actually fit to the old girl so we need to put some sound system into it a bit of sound deadening which i've worked out is already on the floor but um We'll do the doors anyway. I need to finish one of the brake rotors. Uh, there's a swivel hub to do on it. We are still chasing some standard door cards for the rear and for the front doors. So if anyone out there has got a couple kicking around, hook a brother up, eh? <laughs> nah, but I've done the handbrake video on this the other week. Um, my idea at the moment is to get a couple of patrol videos done, e.g. on the debuild rebuild where I don't need the kids, um, and then on my old patrol that needs a little bit of love. And what I mean by love is <sighs> she's got a bit of rust in her that needs a bit of attention. That actual roof rack has um, rusted out as well. So we're going to rip that off. My mate Matty, he gave us one with the debuild rebuild, so I'm gonna possibly get that sandblasted and put it on. Now, uh, I've done the sway bar links. I did a video on that. So if anyone did see that, there they are there. I probably need to chop them a little bit more just to make them level, but ah, she'll be right. I've got a brake upgrade kit for the front end. So I'm gonna be getting stuck into that as well. Um, and the big old dog balls on the bonnet. <laughs> we need to uh, give this a bit of a paint job as well. So I was also having a few dramas with the low and high range selector. So my mate Murray, he gave us um, a heap of linkages and some spare parts for a GQ patrol, um, which I've, squeaky door, ah, I need some grease. Which I've sourced out of a few boxes. And what I'll do is I, um, I went on patrol apart, found some new bushes and etc. cetera, uh, dust boots. So I'll rebuild that section and remove it. I think that'd be a pretty good video too. Now, if any of my videos have helped you out on the old GQ patrols um, or on the Commodores, um, let us know. But you can also help us out. And I don't like saying this, but there's a thanks button down the bottom. Might be over here. But if you feel like it, if I've saved you a few bucks, if you want to buy me a new slab <laughs> or a few parts for one of our other projects, e.g. some HTs, hit up the thanks, hook a brother up for Christmas. 
Right, eh? Let's move on to the derby cars now. All right, so if you follow me on Facebook and that Instagram thingamajig, uh, you may have seen Kevin. Arminian demolition derby car. There he is, still in one piece. <laughs> oh, I got creative. Um, came home on a bit of carer's leave to look after the wife. Um, she told me to get out of the house. <laughs> um, so I spend an hour every now and then down here just giving it another respray or um, cleaning it out or getting it ready for Motorplex Demolition Derby. But I think the only people excited for that was me and maybe DJ and one more person. So there was only three of us that um, entered. <sighs> what a bummer. But someone reached out to me and said, hey bro, there's a demolition derby in Mount Barker, which is south of um, Perth, ah, just down the road. <laughs> and they have gotten in contact with me and said, there's some big prize money up to grabs. So I gave DJ a call and said, brother, do you want to go to this one or you want to go to Motorplex? So we're still on the fence of what we're going to do at the moment, but um, it's looking like Mount Barker at the moment which would be pretty cool because we could enter Kevin, Stuart, grandpa, safety grandpa's car. And we've also got another yellow one. Hmm. Should we rebuild Bob? Now, Bob was the one we took over to South Australia for the world record attempt. And he did very well. Caught on fire twice. Yeah, you get that. He uh, entered another derby, got best presented. So why not rebuild Bob? And what I thought I'd ask you is, with Bob, would you be interested in me doing another like Mark II version of me building a derby car again? Um, just tips and tricks of, I don't know, just initially following the rules um, to get it ready, just to help you out if you are. The hardest part is bloody getting the cars. Um, we scored that off a lady called Sharon. If you're watching this, get a. <laughs> um, she was awesome. She goes, I don't care. I love what you're going to be doing with it, e.g. demo derby car. Um, take it. So we we're very lucky there. So I gave her a few bucks for it, um, and we've made a few bucks back off of it. But that's the only way you can do it to keep it as a free hobby. So if you're interested in me rebuilding it with the big fella, this big bloke here. <laughs> oh, check out his haircut. <laughs> what a legend gives a dirty thumbs up mate yeah that bloke he'll give us a hand he's been practicing a bit of boiler mastering with safety grandpa um which is great he made a uh <laughs> what was it a little cow no bull a bull out of scrap metal um so a bit of practice on the mig welder get him onto the stick later <laughs> oh do you want to know how to put a smile on your neighbor's face, on your mate's face, on your dad's face, or even make a 13 year old boy just smile from ear to ear? You start this thing up and uh, pretend it's canned and drive it around the yard. <laughs> hey, big fella, is this cool or what? Yeah. Grandpa, what do you reckon? No, it's in, uh, it's in gear, so you won't be able to start it. And um, it'd be interesting to see if Grandpa knows how to start a B&M shifter. <laughs> Has he got it? No. Nah. Oh, well, anyway, so we did say we we're going to get stuck into that. The idea of that one was to pull the engine out of this one. Now, this is a 308 that I brought for $20 at least 17 years ago. And what I mean by $20 is I brought a... Um, HQ DeVille. Now, my mate Scotty. Oh, Grandpa got it going. <laughs> I'm trying to say a story here, Grandpa. We'll do a shed skid later. What do you reckon? Turn it off, Dad. We've got no reverse. <laughs> oh, bloody safety, Grandpa. So, where was I again? Anyway, we brought a Statesman DeVille. I left that at Mum and Dad's house many years ago, um, took the V8 and the gearbox out of it, which is a Turbo 400. And at the time, I didn't know any difference of if they fit or not. Um, and this was meant to be just a cruiser. Now, if you're in, from Adelaide, all it was is 
uh, mum and dad's in Seton. You cruise down Grange Road, straight down the beach, military road, cruise down, go down the semaphore largs, and you just have the V8 just go. <laughs> it doesn't have to be fast, just old school like that. So that's what this was meant to be. But no, I took the front end off and then I took a door off and then I tried to do that and I fixed all that and did that and did that. And then I, can of worms, shouldn't have done what I'd done. This was originally 186 three speed converted to four speed, e.g. a massive hole in the floor. Thanks to me mate DJ, wherever I've put it, I've got a replacement slash fix up section for that. And perfection crash, he helped us out with a heap of rust repairs. Um, and the idea with this was I got each guard minus painted or um, dipped. And then that way we could get each guard or each door repaired and bolted back on because I ain't no panel beater. Now this was many years ago, many years ago. So I drove over to Adelaide one time, uh, 18, uh, 2018, brought a car trailer, which you guys have seen in videos, and we brought this old girl back. And that's basically all it's done. We had an auction in Perth when we had some uh, massive storms, which I brought that. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm actually glad I did buy that. Now that's got a tied 327 in it. And that's where I was trying to get to before, wasn't I? So the idea was pull that 308 out, the 327 that's in this, well, I'm pretty sure it's a 327 out of this. We'd have to double check, but what I Googled on the engine number is that. So what I'd like to do now is pull that out, pull that out, a gearbox, rebuild that, put this other gearbox onto it that we've got in the back of the shed, and just leave that how it is. And then we might get that gearbox rebuilt to put into that. And that Turbo 400 will go to another project. Ah, <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe it. What? Another one I'd probably start. But that's, that's way down the track. Hey, big fella. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'll show you something else. The 1969 HT Ute. Uh, that DJ hooked us up with. Now we've been making a couple of videos on this, but I don't want to go releasing anything until we've got a few up our sleeve. Um, that's basically because like the debuild rebuild, you get five or six videos into it, then you lose money. Or you, we run out of money, sorry. <laughs> and you can't buy parts, then you can't get time, and then family thing happens. So at the moment we've got two parts of this video done. We're working on the third with Safety Grandpa, seeing if we can get it running. And then the next part will be <coughs> maybe an engine swap. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I've got a secret. Oi, piss off. I've got a little secret announcement to let out. Once he's gone, we're going to give that ute to the big fella. What do you reckon? That can be his project car. He's uh, been hassling DJ for this Brahm. Nah, he doesn't want the Brahm, does he? He wants a ute. <laughs> no, nah, the Brahm's pretty sick too. It'd be cool to have two. But anyway, let's go do that now. Righto, guys. <clears throat> Grandpa, what do you reckon? Should we give this ute to the big fella? He can do what he likes with it, yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon, big fella? Would you like this ute? Yes. He would. You gonna tell everyone at home? Oh, that's how excited he is. Stay tuned. All right, take two. Pretend you're excited. Don't shake the leg. <laughs> Are you excited? You got yourself a HTU. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa. Ah, oh, kids, hey. Eh? <laughs> and what are the plans going to be with it? Well, right now, I just wanted to get started running, driving, stopping, and then later on, maybe everything's brand new but it looks like this yeah and the engine bay looks ratty but <laughs> it's like all done up and all that then the, like the battery in the engine bay looks blown up yeah. but the real battery's in the in the tray in a old box so i think the idea was uh we've got to try and find a blown up battery put that in there put some leads on it so it looks like it's actually hooked up 
yeah. but actually have one in the in an old toolbox, yeah. which has got a fuel cell in it. <laughs> I reckon that'd be sick, man. And then the interior, I want it to be pimped out. So like, <laughs> you open the door and it looks like you just jumped into the brand new HD. And what do you think, Grandpa? Has he got a bit of work here? As he ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, should we give him a bonus part of the video, or just wrap it up? Give him a bonus. Give him a bonus. All right, for everyone that's hung around, make sure you jump in the comments, put a blue love art, and we'll, uh, we'll give you a little bit of a bonus video. And if you feel like hooking us up <coughs> with some uh, rust repairs, oh, we've got to give a massive shout out to DJ too. Yeah, DJ. DJ from Automotive Carnage. Bro, Merry Christmas. Uh, love to your family. I hope you have a good one. And anyone else that uh, we catch up with, yeah. All right. Take it easy. See you when we're looking at you. And um, cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we need a diff for the thing too. It's a single spinner. <laughs> All right, dirty thumbs up, take it easy. And again, Merry Christmas and see you when we're looking at you.